What's up everyone, Steven here from techmaker.tv. In this episode, I want to take a quick look at the forwardable module in the Ruby standard library. We've been building out this simple project management app from scratch, and if you wanna see that build out from beginning to end, or up to this point at least, you can check it out over on www.techmaker.tv. Also, if you wanna see more content like this, be sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. With that said, I want to take a look at some of the work we were doing with our view components and how we can use the forwardable, let's see how many times I can successfully say that word, uh, use that library to actually clean up our code a little bit. So let's go ahead and jump back over to the code. And let's just open up, let's take a look at the um, project overview component.rb. And you'll see here that we have this um, code here which essentially is just passing along messages to the project so we're trying to say uh, just name in our component and then we're calling project.name, project.description and so on and so forth. What this is essentially called is we're delegating this behavior over to the project object and there's a little bit more uh, clever way we could do this which will clean up our code quite a lot and it's with this library uh, called the forwardable library um, or module rather so if we come up here and we just say extend forwardable you have no idea how many times I've practiced saying forwardable before starting this episode um, but we extend that and then what we can do is essentially just tell it which methods we want to delegate to what so what we can do is say something like this we can say delegate and then I'll give it an array of methods and we'll list them as symbols here. So let's just start with one. So we'll say delegate name and then give it this uh, hash rocket as it were um, to point to what we want to call it on. So let's just say project. Um, we may need to change the syntax a little bit but let's try this really quick and then here let's comment out our name method. And let's go back and refresh and see what happens. So undefined local variable or method project. So I think what we need to do is change the syntax actually and say colon at project and we'll reference that instance variable. And now we get back to what we had before. I don't quite know why we need this syntax here. Um, I haven't read through all the source code in the for forwardable library. Um, but anyway, so that's how it works. And we can actually, since we've passed in this as an array right here, we can pass in all the methods that we want to delegate. So we can say uh, description and what else we have? Status. Okay, and then we can actually remove all these excess methods down here. And this is going to shorten our code up quite a lot. So let's go check this out and refresh here. And you can see we have stuff down in here that's also calling uh, the project and we can uh, pass those through here as well. I'm not sure if I really want to yet. Well, let's just do it. Why not? So we can say uh, percent complete, total complete, and total tasks. So we're delegating all of that and so now we can actually get rid of calling project everywhere and let's give this a try over here so still works now we have one more place I want to do this and that is over in our task component I believe no not that one here so we have a lot of uh, delegated calls here so we're just going to do the same thing up here I'm just gonna paste in a few things um, so we have a uh, status, we don't have any of these, so I'm just going to go ahead and remove all of those. And then we'll change this to be task. And um, so we have the ID, the project, and the name, and the description. So we can actually do it like this. We can say ID, status, project, name, description believe that's everything we had so name project and actually this task ID here 
Um, that one is a special case, kind of, because we're re we're referencing the name. Actually, what we can do is just say ID here, like that, instead of task. Um, and then we'll keep the task ID method hanging around. And uh, let's take a quick look here. We can actually pass along persisted as well. So this is essentially just making it so that we don't have to call task anywhere in here. Um, okay, so let's refresh that and see what happens. So if we click in here, let's see if we get any problems. Looks like I did. Undefined local variable or method project for task component. So I didn't write that properly up there. Let's refresh that and take a look. Cool. So now we've you know shortened this class significantly because we're just we're just passing all of these methods along. So essentially, what this says is if you call this method on the component, um, which is what's happening when we uh, list out anything over here, we're essentially calling a method back on our component. If you receive this uh, message, pass it along to the task object. So it's pretty simple, um, but that makes our code a lot shorter, and I think this is a lot better. I just realized that I accidentally deleted a method we should not have, which is that render question mark. And now instead of saying task.persisted, we can just say persisted here. Um, so that's um, pretty much it, I think. Let's go just refresh this really fast and make sure. Um, but that looks good. I will point out, if you're following along I did make a small change in the um, what is it the project show screen so down here I have this render with collection I forgot to do that uh, in the last episode so I made that change and I think there might have been one other really small thing as well um, but anyway Cool, well that's pretty much it for this episode. It's pretty simple, but I think that's actually a pretty big win as far as just cleaning the code up. I'm sure we could push it further and do more to it, but I think this is pretty nice like this. Um, and I think that this forwardable module um, is gonna be kind of helpful in this in this component view component uh, style of work, because you're gonna end up doing a lot of delegation um, if you're passing in an object and then calling methods on it. So this cleans things up and then you know, the code that's down here can be primarily related to things that are view specific, which I think is really the point. So anyway, um, if you found this helpful, definitely uh, give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Also, if you got any questions, concerns, feedback, whatever, throw it down in the comments. I love reading it and I try to reply to all of them. Um, so with all that said, hopefully I will see you in the next episode.